What's up everyone? So before I get started with this video, I want to show you guys something really cool. I will be right back. So I got this in the mail yesterday and I wasn't really expecting any type of boxes. I didn't order anything and I didn't, I wasn't expecting anything. So I wasn't sure whether to do an unboxing and I was eager to see what was inside this box. So I opened it and uh, what was inside was, is really cool and I thought I'd just have to show you guys. So this is like a mini unboxing video. It's already opened, but I'm just gonna show you. So what's inside this box is something that we all achieved together, guys. I am proud to announce, well, you guys already know, but I got an award for 100,000 subscribers. Congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers from YouTube. And then it has my YouTube username on it, Christopher Chen. And uh, receiving this was freaking awesome because I have never received any type of like trophy before and I always wanted to receive a trophy. I mean, it's not a trophy, but like close enough, right? Just wanna say thank you guys for the millionth time. If it wasn't for you guys, I would have never received a trophy. I would have lived life and not have received a trophy in some form. The sun just came out. So as you guys saw in the title, today I'm gonna to talk about school and skateboarding. Uh, recently, I saw one of the comments on my videos uh, was saying that I don't post regularly enough and that the person was disappointed that I don't post often enough, which is, a, I mean, it's a compliment. Thank you that you wanna see my videos more often. Uh, but the reason why I don't post uh, more often is just simply because of school. I'm usually at school during the whole week and when I do get a chance to film a video, it's probably like during the weekend. I go to school at, uh, at Cal State Northridge, if you guys are wondering. I'm in my fourth year of school, I'm a senior, I'm a graduating senior. This is my last semester of school and I'm finally gonna be finished with school, which is pretty crazy because I've never not had school. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know what I'm saying. I've never like, I've been in school like my whole life for the past like 16 years, I don't know, whatever. After the semester, I'm gonna be done with school. I mean, I can continue on and do more school, which I'm still debating right now, I don't know. But I wanna finish my school uh, strong. I wanna finish with good grades and do really well. So I've been focusing on school just because like, this is my last semester and I can keep doing skating after this, but right now, like, I just wanna finish school strong. But I'm still gonna post as much as I can. Sam Tabor just tweeted, does anyone actually enjoy underwater levels in video games? <laughs> Oh man, I feel you dude. Donkey Kong underwater level. Oh man, it's a pain in the ass. Again, to all the indecisive people out there, I said this in another video, but don't feel like you're the only one out there that doesn't know what you wanna do. I was an undecided student at school for two years. I declared my major in the second semester of my sophomore year. I literally took a list of majors and crossed off everything that I for sure knew I didn't wanna do. And I came to the conclusion that kinesiology was the closest thing to what I enjoyed, would enjoy studying, which is movement. It's the closest to exercise and skating. It's awesome. I love it now. So I'm glad I found something. I remember in my sophomore year of college, uh, my dorm used to have like a lot of parties. My dorm specifically, we were like one of the party rooms, kind of. I mean, not huge parties, but you know, within the hallway floor. And they were pretty cool parties. But uh, I didn't go to that many of them, even though it was our, my, like my, uh, it was our dorm. I, uh, every weekend I would go back to Los Angeles to uh, skate and film and practice just because I, this, that's just where my drive was. And uh, I mean, I really wanted to stay for the parties, but every time like the party would begin to start and I'd be there with my luggage, my backpack. And I remember just thinking in my head like, man, it's gonna be worth it in the end. And looking back now, definitely was worth it to skip out on all those parties. I mean, I went to a few parties, but it was definitely worth it to go back to LA to skate every single weekend. I've come to realize that skating and my education have worked together in an alliance and they both benefit each other because I take what I learned in school and I can apply it to my skating and I can take what I've learned from skating, like my trick challenges, and I can apply that to my school. Like for instance, I had this test recently and I was very discouraged because of how hard it was just because of the reputation that I've heard about this test in the class. 
but I just I treated it as a boss, like a trick challenge boss, and I just worked at it and worked at it and worked at it, and I overcame it, and I did really well, just just exactly how I did in the trick challenge. Being able to overcome those trick challenges in skating have definitely gave me the confidence to overcome any kind of trick challenge in life. I feel like sometimes people might say that skating is holding your schooling back or preventing you from doing the best you can in school, but I feel for me, skating has really encouraged me and motivated me to do well in school because at the end of each week of school and studying and all the hard work, I have something amazing to look forward to and that is to skating. <laughs> I'm just, I, just working on schoolwork, I'm thinking about the reward at the end, which is that I get to skate. And without that reward, I don't know if I would be as motivated as I am now, but skating has definitely helped me do well in school because I have something awesome to look forward to. Being a skater and being in college at the same time is kind of weird because it feels like I'm living in two different, like complete opposite worlds. On one side, skating, like going out into the streets and vandalizing street property. And then in the academic world, it's very professional and writing emails with professional etiquette and just like, you know, staying on your academic game. And it's just, it's just complete opposite worlds, you know. At school, I'm just a student who happens to skate, you know. And then in the skater world, I'm like a skateboarder who happens to go to school. Yeah, kind of cool in a way. And then there's YouTube, which is like, secret identity that nobody knows about at school. All in all, I recommend everyone to continue their education after high school. Even if you're skating and pursuing skating, I think it's a great idea to have a plan B in mind because you never know if skating is going to work out. But uh, I mean, even if you are successful with skating, whatever, I think education is awesome and that, I don't know, I'm just fascinated with learning. Maybe you're different, but that's my take on it. So. Um, I think that's about it for this video. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me talking. I will see you guys at the next video. Thank you guys for everything. I love you guys. Peace.